Okay, everyone, welcome back again into another tutorial. Welcome back on the Fox Tech channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you and talk about how you can clear messages on your Apple Watch. It is a pretty straightforward process, but there are some nuances you should know about. So let's just dive right in. At first, to clear your messages on the Apple Watch, you need to open the messages app right there on the device. And once you're inside, you can browse through your conversations just like you would normally do on your phone. And you might be wondering if you can clear the messages you see on your Apple Watch. And the answer is yes, you can. So you can delete a conversation. And to do that, you can swipe left on the individual chat thread and you'll see two icons appear. A purple icon to mute a conversation and a red one to delete the thread. Tap on the red delete icon and the entire conversation will be removed from your Apple Watch. This process is quick and ensures that your watch stays uncluttered. But a common question is whether deleting messages on your Apple Watch affects the messages on your iPhone. The answer is no, deleting a conversation on your Apple Watch does not remove it from your iPhone. The messages will remain on your phone just as they were before. The separation can be quite handy, especially if you want to free up space on the watch but keep the message history intact on your iPhone. It's also important to note that when you delete messages on your Apple Watch, you're only deleting them for yourself. The person you're texting with will still have the entire chat history on their device. You cannot delete messages from someone else's phone, of course. This is how the system works, ensuring each person's message history remains independent. Now, another question you might have is whether you can delete individual text messages, like the bubbles, in the conversation. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't allow you to delete individual messages on the watch. You can do it on the iPhone, but not on the Apple Watch. But perhaps with the new watchOS updates, as you know, we are one coming up. Perhaps we are going to be able to do do that as well so we'll see for now thank you very much for watching if you found this video useful hit the thumbs up and see you guys later